This song is called Across the Warrego. The Warrego, which I'm sure you all know, is in the southern part of Queensland. And uh, it's a grim and uh, a desolate place, apparently. And there's a story uh, about, uh, I mean, some of these places, uh, you have to have a lot of respect for the outback because uh, to stay alive in some of this harsh environment takes a lot of ingenuity. And there's a story, it is a true story, as none of my lies are true, and uh, this concerns a cocky who woke up one morning and he found a cat sitting on his veranda. And he didn't particularly like cats, so he got hold of this cat and he put it in a sack and put it in the back of his truck and drove off into the outback with it. A fair distance, I'm not sure exactly how far he went, but he went a fair distance. And he stopped the truck and he got out and got the sack, tipped the sack up, <coughs> Just let the cat out, just let it go and wander off and fend for itself in the outback. And he goes back home, he goes to bed that night, and gets up the next morning and sure enough there's a cat sitting on the veranda. So he grabs hold of it, puts it in his sack, puts it in the back of the truck and this time he drives further than he did the day before. <coughs> Not sure exactly how much further but he certainly went a fair distance beyond what he'd done the day before. And he stopped the truck and he got out and got the sack, tipped the sack up, just let the cat out, just let it go, wander off and fend for himself. Goes back home, goes to bed that night, three o'clock in the morning, he's woken up by this meowing and scratching. And he thinks to himself, gosh, I bet that's that jolly old cat. <laughs> or words to that. Anyway, uh, couldn't tell you exactly what words he used, but similar words to that. Anyway, he gets up in the morning, and sure enough, there's this cat sitting on the veranda. So he grabs hold of it, puts it in the sack, puts it in the back of the truck, and this time he drives further than he's done the days before. Not sure exactly how much further, but he certainly went a lot further than he'd done the days before. And he stopped the truck, got out, got the sack, and he's just about to tip the cat out, and he realises, looks around him, and he realises that this time he's driven so far, he's got lost. So he tips the cat out and follows it home. <laughs> <laughs> that is a true story, that one. Uh, it was told to me by the cat. <laughs> Some dreams of dried up streams, streams that seldom flow, that men and things misfortune brings to cross the war ago. And I could see old faces there, old faces grim and sad, old mates of mine that tramp with me. And in my sleep I saw the sheep Heard them bleating low The ringing flocks, the stringing flocks That crossed the war ago The young and strong were in the lead The old and weak behind With lagging i 
Right. 